The Minerai M7 is a good quality, affordable, portable ultrasound with many ultrasound transducers to choose from. Hi and welcome to Ultrasound Review. My name is Jeff Rubinoff with Complete Medical Services. On this channel we will discuss everything ultrasound. Today we're going to be discussing ultrasound transducers for the Minerai M7. We'll discuss each individual transducer and configurations for different specialties that you may be using the Minerai M7 for. So let's go right to left as we go through the different options uh, for transducers. We'll start with the endocavity transducer. This is the V10-4S, which is a 4 to 10 megahertz transducer. <clears throat> Second on, on the table here, we have the P4-2S, which is the phased array for a cardiac or for a transcranial Doppler. Then we have the C5-2S, which is a 2 to 5 megahertz abdominal convex transducer. Next, we're going to go through a selection of linear transducers. These are the typical linears that people will choose from. There are other options for all of the different transducers that are in front of me that I'm, I'm presenting to you right now. Um, this is the L7-3S, which is a 3 to 7 megahertz linear transducer with a typical standard 38 uh, millimeter uh, footprint. Then we have a smaller footprint linear transducer, which is the L14-6S, which is a 6 to 14 megahertz transducer. There's also a 38 millimeter version of the L14-6, and that is the L14-6NS, which we don't have in front of us here today. Um, it looks very similar to the L12-4S, which is a 4 to 12 megahertz linear transducer. And then finally, the hockey stick uh, linear uh, transducer right here. So let's look at different possible ultrasound configurations based on the transducers that are here in front of us. So when we talk about shared service, what do we really mean by shared service and how does it look in transducers? So shared service means that the system can pretty much function and scan for any specialty. Um, so in a shared service environment, that would mean that you're doing cardiac, you're doing abdominal, you're doing small parts, you're doing vascular, and it may also mean that you're doing OBGYN or endocavity uh, type studies uh, with the endocavity transducer. So that would be shared service. So now what does that look like when we're looking at our transducers here? Uh, we'll start with the cardiac transducer, which would be the phased array, our convex for abdominal, and then one of the linears. A good standard option for the linear could be the 4-12S or the 4 sorry the L12-4S or the L14-6NS for a linear. So that would be a 3 or a 4 probe configuration. Again, we would select a linear, a convex, a phased array, and an endocavity for a full shared service environment. In most cases, when we're talking about shared service, the endocavity is optional and typically is not selected. <clears throat> then we get into general imaging, general purpose imaging. And what does that mean? In that situation, it may mean that it's a convex, a linear, and an endocavity. It could also mean that it's an, a convex and a linear. <clears throat> so if we're doing convex and linear, that means that we're going to be doing vascular could mean MSK, it could mean needle guidance, it could be uh, abdominal when we, when we use our convex transducer, and again there could be an optional for the endocavity, so that could be a three probe configuration, not fully shared service because in that situation we are not using the cardiac. Now other possible configuration options could be for endocrinology, and endocrinology we'd be using a single linear transducer. In a, an MSK environment, orthopedic environment, we may be just using a linear transducer or a linear and a convex, using the convex for deeper structure um, when we're doing our ultrasound scanning. 
So that really covers a lot of the different specialties. One that I left out was vascular, and vascular would be uh, primarily a linear. It could be a higher frequency for more superficial linear and a lower frequency for a deeper structure of vascular. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed our, my presentation on the transducers. These are transducers as related to the Minery M7. So please hit the subscribe button to make sure that you are following uh, my channel. Once you hit the uh, subscribe button right next to it is a bell. When you smash the bell next to the subscribe button, that will allow you to be updated every time I post a new video. So again, thank you very much for joining us and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.